Hello, Maranatha. I hope you're having a good day wherever this finds you. We are unique as a church. All churches have their uniquenesses. And I was asking myself the other day, what is it that makes Maranatha unique? And of course, there are many things I could say, but this is, was the one thing in particular that came to mind, and it's one thing I've been thinking about a lot lately. And that is that we are a church that boldly follows God into mission based on the gifts that he has given to us. So let me explain what I mean by that. So in the last number of years, we've seen a lot of ministries started or restarted after COVID. But I want to give you a list of just some of those ministries that have something in common. And you guess what, what they have in common. So there's Alpha. There's the Baker's Club. There's Divorce Care. There's the Growing Young Team. Home Life Groups, there's the membership team, the photo directory team, and a new one, our software modernization team. So what do those have in common? Well, this is what they have in common, that one person saw a need or an opportunity and they stepped out and they seized the moment. They had a passion and they had gifts, and so they set their gifts into action and God used them to meet a need in the church. And that to me is a sign of the Holy Spirit working in a powerful way because the Bible says that it is the Spirit who gives to each person sovereignly their gifts. And the fact that these ministries are, are bringing forth so much fruit is further evidence of the Spirit because when the Holy Spirit moves somebody to action, then it's his desire to bless the church through them. Now, when you look at all of these ministries moving uh, by the power of the Spirit as people step out in faith and use their gifts, it helps us to understand our identity as a church and our uniqueness, because it's as these things come to expression that we see who we are and the mission God wants us to do. He gave these gifts precisely. Uh, to help us to be the unique people that he's called us to be. Well, I find this all so exciting because there's no place in the world I would rather be than in a church that is being moved by the Spirit and that is partnering with God to see his work get done on earth. You have a great day, everyone.